Good morning. Uh, happy Friday. I cannot believe it's Friday already. It's going to be a, uh, a good weekend. I'm sure it's going to be a busy weekend as usual. Everybody enjoy their time off if you have time off on Monday. Um, but I just want to touch on a couple of things here. When it comes to somebody getting pre-approved, let's say somebody has income and they have bonus income, they have overtime income, they have all, everything else. That type of stuff takes due diligence on the front end, okay? You can't take the borrower's word for it. You can't take this for it. You have to look at the numbers. You have to get a verification of appointment up front so you see what you can use or can't use. Has it been for a full two years? Can we use the average of 24 months? Can we not use average of 24 months, 12 months, depending on all that stuff? You have to do the work up front. Uh, these, you know, this is probably the sixth SOS deal that, that we got probably in the last two, three weeks here. I have to check back on that, but it seems like that. And, and this latest one is just basically having the numbers right on the front end. You have to do the homework on here unless you can put people in jeopardy of purchasing homes. So on this latest one, it is, you know, it's a, it's a veteran. Um, basically he was about to close and now he can't close. So what you have to do, and, and the main problem was that, was that income I was just talking about, was the other income. That income is almost like self-employed income. You have to analyze it. You have to look at the numbers on that and see, okay, what can I use and, and what months can I divide by that? And how's that gonna affect my debt to income ratio? Uh, very, very important. And you know to take your time to do that. So you have to trust the process. When we get these SOS deals, everybody obviously wants an answer right away. Can we do it? Can we not? Can we? And you got to understand something. Uh, the, the previous lender ha had the deal for a long period of time. They weren't under that pressure. Okay, so that's even more of a reason to trust the process to make sure you vet everything on the front end. If you don't do that, uh, all of a sudden it could be a complete disaster. And, you know, hey, people make mistakes. This is not a perfect world. I make mistakes left and right. Um, but there's certain things with anything, whether it's business, whether it's mortgages, real estate, a small business, any type of business or anything else, when there's a, a process that has to go through to make sure you don't have any, I call it mortgage bombs down the line, um, basically that is more important because that's going to lead to the end result. Okay, obviously, right? Makes common sense. Makes sense. And so when we get these things, we really put everybody on alarm, so to speak. Uh, Want to double, triple check things uh, to make sure that, hey, this is going to be okay. Uh, let's, let's go through with it, okay? Uh, it, meanwhile, when we're doing that, we're getting hammered by everybody else. Can we do it? How's everything in this and this? I, I totally get that, you know, especially in this marketplace. Uh, but it's very, very important to go through the process because uh, the process is going to give you the best opportunity to have a better outcome at the end. Sometimes it doesn't, but, but a lot of times when you follow certain steps and go through those certain steps and those checkpoints, whether it's any business, by the way, it's going to help you get over that hump uh, to put you in the best position to win. I mean, if you're any winning athlete, right? I mean, I'm, I'm listening to a, a book right now. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's talking about winning, right? But it's talking about the best athletes out there and what they do and how they really, uh, you know, put certain things, per, certain processes in place to do it consistently day in and day out. If you don't have that, uh, then, then you're definitely going to go sideways. Then your clients aren't going to be happy and, and things are going to just, just happen and blow up. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. And uh, just, you know, just, just let us know how we can help. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.